It's Ian P, Ian Zoom YouTube channel. Uh, I'm back this year with a new uh, video on this brother laser printer. Um, I am going to be unboxing this and reviewing it to show you folks what it looks like. I haven't seen a lot of reviews on this machine except for the brother advertisement thing and all that stuff I've seen. So um, this is uh, an a brother MFC L8900 CDW all-in-one multifunction laser printer. Yes, laser printer technology. Um, this box is very heavy. I have to drag it into my room. I had some help, but I dragged it into the uh, room myself. It's not going to be too bad to lift myself. I can do it. Um, the box measures 26 by 26, you can see, and 25 and a half deep in it. Um, it is a very large box, making it very awkward. There are, however, there are handles on the side that you can lift it with. Um, I bought this at uh, Business Depot. I ordered it online and picked it up here in Sudbury. Uh, it came to $4.99 with tax $5.36, I think. Um, it's regular seven something right now as it is. Uh, okay, and this in here, this here is what you're going to see if you are going to purchase a lower tray, optional tray. I think you can get up to about two 500 sheet trays and three times uh, 250 sheets. So this is the box that the, this tray is going to come in. It is the LT330CL uh, optional lower tray for the uh, for this machine. It's actually designed for this machine. So that's what it looks like. It's a strong box. Yes, brand new. Uh, uh, purchase I bought from Amazon here. This is your instruction. This is what you'll see. This is a uh, label where you can put on your trays. Uh, one, two, or three, four trays. You have either one for letter, one for legal, one for A4, one for A5, and one for follow and Excel or B5. So that's just an option that you have. And here's what it looks like as it is uh, inside the box, all wrapped up. And here's the stand. So right now, I'm going to be boxing this on top of the stand because the machine is going to be placed on top of the uh, option tray. As underneath it, you can also place another option tray too. Okay, so here's what it looks like. This is the bottom tray that the machine is going to be sitting on. So I'm going to open it out. Here's your drawer. It's all the instructions. It tells you inside of the tray. As you see, these are going to be your pins. That's where your machine is going to fit in. And this is the uh, receiver connection. So the machine will recognize that you have a second tray option installed. Now here's the fun part. Unboxing this thing is very heavy and a really huge box. And lifting onto that stand. Let's see if I can do it. I think I can. So the first thing you want to do is you want to cut the uh, straps. It is fairly big. Okay. So as we do that, down below, these are the uh, plastic caps attached to the uh, box holding it in place. Because this is such a heavy machine, they design it where you lift up the box. Okay, so this is what you got to do. You're going to take these, and you're going to pull from underneath. It's very sturdy. There you go, and you pull them up just like that. Same with the other side too. Free warranty. Uh, read this first before you uh, 
install and your quick startup guide. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Add the manual there. You also have a user's manual and your CD-ROM drive for your installing, where you can go online and download the latest drivers. You have your power cord. That was the main thing. And you also have a telephone line, which I do have a lot of myself. So, so here's what it looks like. And uh, it's quite the machine. Carefully removing the wraps. Attaching the wraps. That's what you're going to do. This is a little hefty. Get it out here. It's actually not too bad. I think you need to lift it up. Here's what the machine looks like. That's what I asked for. So I got one. Big one. Here's what it looks like. It's not that bad, really, and it's not all that heavy as I thought it was. Again, I can manage. Look at that. It's pretty darn easy to put up there. So that's going to be the fun part. So right now, I'm going to put this thing on top of this tray and that's going to be the uh, fun part I think it will be easy it will not be hard so uh, stay tuned well uh, I actually did it it was pretty darn easy it wasn't as heavy as I thought it was you just got to grip it the proper way so, and I have finally got out of that box by carefully removing the wrap I did a really good really good job of that so and here it is like I mean look at the size of this machine it is a beast it's wide you could say it's almost uh 19 inches wide let me see here oh my god yeah it's it's, it's a look there it's measuring more on top of here the width it's about let's say about 17 Six, 16 that's only what it looks like because it's measuring from the uh, width of this EDF feeder it is a 70 capacity EDF feeder it's a really strong one and there it is there's this 5 inch monitor that's going to be nice to play with yeah, you see I got to set it up I got to plug it in and uh, the first thing you want to do before you do that is you want to uh, peel the tape off As you see, the bottom tray is optional. It already has came as it is without having to install a what do you call? I believe. So that's going to be the part. The front part is now. The, the main part is I got it up on the stand here, and uh, though it wasn't too bad at all. You know, it's a fairly large uh, printer. It is, you know, again designed for a work group of people. But even on myself, more than I need to print. I'm buying it for a reason. Good quality. And like I said, it's a keypad and a 5 inch touchscreen. And scanning on the scan bed, digital size documents as well. That's going to be cool. So, we open this, uh, what do you call? Oh, wait, now it's the EDF feeder. I'm sorry. It's up here. This is your MF tray, it's called. This is the uh, tray that you print envelopes, uh, you can use CD jewel cases or for labeling on your CDs or for label print paper or special paper or even bond paper more likely uh, that's how it looks so again made easy there is your um, button up there that's going to be uh, press it open it up there you go there's everything inside of it there is the uh, toner cartridges inside installed. Every printer has their toner cartridges installed the first time. So you pull it out from here. It's not bad. Okay. There's the paper. You have um, tape. On the sides that you want to peel off. On both sides here.
To me, it's like a new toy. Just something to play with. There's where your um, image drums are going to be rolling from back here, too. Let's see here. Oh boy. And there's all your tape on the side. Get tape here. So you also have your uh, orange peeling. This is a, what do you call it, a side, I don't know what it's for. Oh, this is, again, this is another one here, peel off here. Here comes the, uh, what do you call You see we only have orange on one side here, and we have um, a wheat call on this side. There you go, all set. So, I believe we're all set. Let me see here. These are your toner cartridges, your black, cyan, and magenta, and your yellow. Uh, let me see here. I'm assuming they're in there, right? So that's the fun part. Let's see what the system here. So that's one uh, PLO we have. So now I think we are all set. As you see in the YouTube, I've watched a YouTube on this. So now we can pull back in, I believe. I asked myself what this tape is for though. Maybe that's the uh, cartridge. Let's see. That's the cartridge. And there's your drums. Uh, I believe it's very easy to install. So there you go. That's nothing to worry about. So there you go. We're done. I think we're done. I think we're in. Just to make sure. It's a little hard to pull out, but it's made tough, so it's easily comes in. So you put it in. There you go. Cartridge machine goes in. And there's the instructions. This whole thing comes up because that is your stack of drums that you have for your image here for your printer. Hopefully it's all it's all properly and I think it is. Here's some symbols you gotta know here. These are the uh, cartridges. Uh, TN four three one standard yield, uh, and you have these are the ones that are standard yield. The black is three thousand pages. The uh, cyan, magenta, and yellow are eighteen hundred pages. Uh, I I'm going to post a link where you can buy them the cheapest places. I there they can come up to to seven hundred to eight hundred dollars if you buy them somewhere else. You can get it cheaper. But whatever you do, don't buy the compatible ones. Buy the original ones because you are getting the best performance with the uh, polymerized toner, as I'm hearing, watching. So here it is all set up. So right now, you open the scanner, you go out, there's more tape here, sorry. There's more tape. It's big though, you can say it's pretty huge, and it is huge. You know, it looks chunky looking, they say. So here it is here. Yeah, let's see here. Nothing else underneath. Let's see, there's your EDF machine feeder. Pretty huge, pretty uh, sleek, very nice. Finally, I have a scan bed that has legal size documents. Here we go, all set. Very easy to install down here. Okay. And that is the lovely five inch screen. It is an LCD liquid crystal uh, screen. So that's going to be nice to have and very useful on a keypad. You also have this thing called NFC. It uh, is used to log on or create uh, or to print stuff from your cell phone if it supports the NFC. So that's going to be a nice feature too. That's going to be fun. So right now we hope before we see the bottom tray is optional. There's nothing in the bottom tray, I believe. It comes right out. And here's the options that you have. 
There's nothing in there. It was just like that, right? And it's it's very light though. Right here. And here is the part that you gotta take out. That's the part that you want to you want to take all this out. Use all this tape before you use this uh, printer. So, yep, we're done. Again, they're not very heavy. All set. So right now, we're all set. We just gotta plug it in and here we go. Okay, so uh, here's your quick setup guide. That's basically what you get and or you can download from the uh, PDF manual on the uh, line. Uh, you unpack the machine and check the components. It does come with a build drive. It is a build driven machine, a waste toner basket, which is good for 50,000 pages. I believe the fuser unit, I'm not sure yet, but we'll find out. You get see ROM installing drivers, or you can download the uh, latest drivers from the um, computer online. Uh, tells you remove the packing and materials, install the drum units, and turn the cartridge assembly. Okay. So that is uh, been done, and load paper into tray. As you see, it is a little bright. I closed my window curtains a bit, so it's a little dark. In tray one, here it is, all ready. So that's been done. So connect the power cord and turn the machine on, and connect to your telephone cord if you're using a fax machine. Select your language and configure your fax machine settings. Okay, so we will do that. Okay, so now I uh, have it all set up and it's powered on. And here's what it looks like and here's what it sounds like. You know, it's not as noisy as my other one I had. And the belt unit costs less money to replace than the other one because, you know, the thing is, it's actually smoother and I find it doesn't struggle as much as it is to to work so I think that's a plus for this machine yeah, that's what it works. it's smelly uh, electronic fumes but that's normal it's a brand new machine and it is an office equipment thing office supply thing but it's such a high quality machine so right now I'm going to be setting up and uh, stay tuned okay so here it is in a uh, deep sleep mode as you can see the light uh, the indicator power light will blink, more like the other one with the home screen. And here's the uh, touch screen. Oops, oh, there you go. Oh, go back to home. Okay, so this is what your front view looks like. You have fax, you have a much bigger screen, you have a clock to set. Uh, you have admin for logging into your machine to create something, it's even more for users. You have basic one, basic two, custom one, custom two, and maybe more on. So here you got lots of features here. So we can oh, actually yeah, let's not back home again. You have shortcuts, it's much the same thing. Custom one, you have 64 shortcuts. Therefore you have a lot of options if you're going to do that. And you have a lot of customs. You have about uh, six custom modes. If I hit the home key, there you go back. So anyways, I'm going to be setting it up and uh, I will uh, get it ready. So uh, I just want you to know that at first, as I turn it on, you can smell the fumes. or not really fumes, but mm, sort of like electrical fumes. Not electrical, but it's probably because it's brand new. Maybe the fusey unit. But as far as I know, it, it's uh, normal because it's a brand new machine. So And it is an office... Uh, Equipment machine, I guess you can say, pretty huge. Is one big one. And uh, right now I'm going to uh, set it up. So stay tuned. Okay, so uh, it's all set up. But before you want to connect it, like get it operated, that means to the computer, you want to uh, set up. So you can see there was step eight. So you are going to connect your computer first thing, or you have an Android device. Or you know to connect to the uh, machine here, so it connects. You're going to uh, put in the CD-ROM drive and install your drivers first. 
before you do any attempt operation as it says in the manual for the first time before you operate this machine uh, right now I did something like this here I'm going to use this coloring book uh, front view to scan it now I'll show you what it looks like it's uh, pretty accurate no difference in picture quality here so I will put the uh, scan in on the scan vid put it down here put it down but not too hard okay touch the screen Copy. Automatically, you can select your trays. Got uh, M MP multiple tray, which is the uh, what I was telling you earlier, tray one and tray two. So we're using tray one. Automatically, that will be the second uh, tray. First tray we use. So we will connect. Uh, click on copy. And we will copy exactly like it looks. No different. Here you go, very fast. Here's the copy. It looks pretty accurate here. Let's see what it looks like on the page here. I hit the home key, go back. Much like the previous printer, I have all your features. If you look at the both of them, uh, there's no comparison. Look into the details here. There's just no comparison. You know, again, it looks a bit lighter, but that's that's the way they work, and most of these copy machines will do that. It looks really clear, uh, very fine detailed. So that's how it runs, and that's how it looks. And uh, right now, I'm going to be setting up and get it working myself. Uh, I have it all set up. Uh, features, lots of stuff. What does it say? It said no paper, I don't know what happened there. That's yeah, okay. So anyways, uh, check my torn life. Uh, you pretty much got all your uh, toner. These are the standard yields. Uh, the black is 3,000 pages. The, um, uh, cyan, magenta, and yellow are 1,800 pages. Uh, for those cartridges, where I can get them the cheapest, they will vary around three hundred and fifty-nine dollars. I think around that price. So uh, that's the cheapest one you can get, and you don't need to buy the high yield unless you want to pay a lot more. But whatever you do, if you are looking at cartridges, don't waste your money. It's cheaper, but don't be fooled because they are counterfeit. Maybe they will will perform, but I am. Um, I've had to use them in my other machine. They will uh, create some problems. Uh, your printing color, texture, and mixer will not turn out like it should. So it's all I know. I've done it, and I won't do that with this one because this is a really good machine. I invested money on this a good machine and a good price and a good deal. So I'm going to be sticking with the originals because really, unlike the ink color partners, partners, they uh, will dry up over time. But this toner stuff, this powder stuff, it is reliable. It will last a long time before it, you know, doesn't perform. Then you have to replace the toners. So it's hard to say how many counts per page it'll last. But uh, this machine seriously does have a higher volume. Uh, recommended volume is 4,000 pages a month, but max is about uh, 30,000, I think. So that is pretty heavy duty for a machine. Uh, you have a lot of copying, a lot of scanning, and uh, everything uh, everything works well. Everything performs well. As you can see, it's all set up. You can see tray one is number one here. Okay, so uh, right now I'm going to be uh, doing the rest of my setup and read all through my PDF manuals and experience and playing out this thing. And uh, again, um, if you like this video, leave me a uh, thumbs up. Um, let me know how I did. I did my best I can to show you what it looks like from the front view. There is a lot of stuff in here. 
I will plan to do more later on. Maybe I will make some more reviews on this machine and what it does and what I can do with it. And as you know right now, it's resting. So, but it's it's really not tired. It's just when I say when it's in sleep mode. <laughs> It's really cool to have. So anyways, uh, thank you for watching my YouTube. And please, don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button if you wish. Uh, again, thank you for watching and uh, bye for now.